So we're going to be doing a remote desktop connection from Windows 10, uh, the latest version, 22H2, to Windows Server 2003, which is something you absolutely should not be doing in 2022. Um, obviously, next year is going to be 20 years for Windows Server 20, uh, 2003. So in today's uh, world, Windows Server 2003 is extremely outdated. Support stopped a very long time ago. So you should not be having Windows Server 2003 on your infrastructure environment. Some places will still have it, unfortunately, because it's extremely uh, hard thing to do when, when it comes to upgrading servers. Some legacy servers are still around in some companies, uh, such as one of the companies that I've been working with recently. So if you are one of those few people who have Windows Server 2003 uh, still running in your environment because of legacy applications and, and whatnot, you really need to upgrade as soon as possible and migrate all those services that are running on there off of it. Let's remote desktop onto it and see what it looks like from a remote desktop connection uh, perspective because uh, I haven't seen the uh, Windows Server 2003 um, desktop environment for a while. It's not often that I remote desktop onto it and I thought it'd be an interesting thing to see. So let's take a look at what Windows Server 2003 still looks like in 2022. Well, so I'll just log in with my admin account, type in my password, hit enter. And look, Windows, Windows Server 2003 R2, copyright 2005. It's applying the personal settings. <clears throat> it's a virtual machine, so that's one positive because, you know, it's not a physical machine that you have to sort of uh, shut down, decommission and whatnot. It's a virtual machine. Once we migrate everything we need off of this, then hopefully we can just delete the virtual machine and it's all over. So, <coughs> yeah, here it is. Do you remember the old Windows Server Manager? So this is your, uh, I guess, your portal to managing the uh, Windows Server, where you had the shortcuts and uh, some of the obviously settings and menus around managing the server roles. And what sort of what's what what's already configured on the server itself. So on this one, your server has been configured with the following roles. It's a file server, and it's also an application server. Um, and then we've got some links here to some useful tools, administrative tools, Windows updates, uh, computer and domain name, and Internet Explorer enhanced security, which is that annoying pop-up that always blocked everything that you every website you went to unless you turned it off. Uh, and I believe some of the newer servers still do that. Um, but you've got to turn it off from the server manager. Yeah, so this is uh, brings back some old memories. What have I got on here? The SQL Management Server Studio. So this server uh, has a database. Uh, this server's got a database on it that needs to be migrated. And this database is linked to a website. And the website is now being migrated to the cloud so we need to move the database off and then we can just shut this server down decommission it and that is windows server 2003 done and dusted and buried so yeah it's um still got the old internet explorer here which obviously is a vulnerability at the moment the, the entire server itself is a massive vulnerability um it's a good thing it's not connected to the well it is connected to the internet but that link is dead let me go to another link, Google. Oh, and if you remember, Windows Server always used to give you these security alerts. So, Server 2003, uh, and I believe XP and some of the old systems used to do this, where they give you a security alert. In future, don't show this. Click OK, and there you go. Obviously, Google doesn't like Internet Explorer. As you can see, it doesn't look too intuitive because it's an old browser, it's outdated, so it won't look the best. Yeah, but there you go, Windows Server 2003 everyone old memories let's see some of the accessories good old paint remote desktop connection what else have we got in here uh, 
administrative tools there's some of the old tools that were sort of pre-configured that's it you should not have Windows Server 2003 running in your environment in 2022 and going on to 2023 um, get rid of it as soon as possible hopefully you've enjoyed this and it's brought back, brought back some memories for yourself thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video